guys, it's Lex here, I need a shave, and I'm back with another review. This time it's from the House of Paco Ban. This is Black Excess Potion, it's re re released in 2014. So today's been a damn relaxing day, it's really hot. I just got uh, back my full body, I had a full body massage this morning, so I've been told to stay off the soda and stuff, and drink water, and try and, you know, not take care of that today. But let's be honest, fuck that. Let's get started with bottle design. So this one actually looks kind of cool. It's like a sort of um, stamp, you know, and you'd see a letter with wax back in the days. It's got the old school, sort of almost medieval sort of style. Basic black excess bottle, your usual stuff, just with that change. That's about it. Cool enough, no complaints. How's the sprayer? Well, it's black excess. Well, it's an excess range anyway, but so the sprayer is pretty damn amazing. As you can see here, good wish comes out. So. Before we talk about the smell, let's go about what it is in Fragranica. So this only has five notes, according to Fragranica here. Top note is Juniper, Wormwood, is a, Wormwood and Cashmere Wood as the middle notes, and the base notes are Labdanum and Rum. So it's kind of simple, but this is actually really, really nice. Um, I really like the smell of this one. I think it smells pretty damn awesome. Um, I mean, yes, there's a love its first sniff. I mean, it's, don't expect something super rich. I mean, it is synthetic. There's no doubt about it, but um, it does have a sort of lovely berry vibe to it going on. Uh, not berry, like fruity, um, tutti musk from Alva Hab. Um, almost a sort of juniper berry vibe. Obviously with the notes, obviously. Um, I mean, it's a really unique take on the black excess. Still got that sweet, um, sort of teenage clubbing, you know, I've just turned 18, I'm really horny vibe to it. <laughs> I just had sex with a bunch of girls whose names I can't remember, but somehow I have their numbers on the phone me. I'll be drunk, I'll be dead awkward. You know the routine, we've all been there, except for me, because I'm an asshole and I get drunk alone, because... Anyway, <laughs> but the smell, really though, I'll do it on the side, the smell is pretty damn awesome. Really unique, uh, I think this was the last decent offering um, before they started taking the piss with some of the Black Excess scents. They started, you know, what was the one with, uh, not Iggy, nearly done the other one, it had Iggy or something like that, and it was just called Iggy or something like that, I can't remember, but yeah, they just sort of went, let's start making them super unique and let's start turning this out a cash cow. And the whole brand just went... <laughs> There's a new excess flanker coming out, I think it's a blue excess or dark excess, I don't fucking know. But here's a weird thing, it's not black excess, it's the original excess. So, might suck ass, might be amazing, we don't know. Judging by the bottle design, it'll be a fucking Savage clone probably. But if it is good, you never know. Anyway, so performance with this one. Now here's a weird thing, when I first got this, uh, everyone from Granica here says it lasts pretty damn long and it's pretty strong. I'm not too sure, longevity was okay with me, I got about 8 hours average longevity. This has met with beastly projection. I never really noticed that on my skin. Um, again, with Fuel for Life, a lot of people saying, oh, it's super beastly. You know, and you know, this is an original, this is the first release I got this like the same day it came out. Like the woman was stacking the shelves when I walked in. So I, she literally hadn't finished stacking the shelves when I grabbed my bottle of this. So yeah, so it's not exactly been reformulated. Same thing with Fuel for Life, you know, it's a fairly new bottle. Got about a year after it first came out, so you know. Um, eh. But really, I think this is, um, pretty damn good but performance for me I wasn't finding the, the, the to be boom like it was saying in Vigranica I think it's okay performance but I really thought it died on me after a couple of hours but again you know I'm not sure and um, longevity was okay but I, I'm not just compared to like whereas like black excess Lexi I could notice it years uh, years <laughs> hours later and Lafodisiac this I just have to you know oh there it is which could be a sign of olfactory fatigue but you know um, it's entirely up to you guys that's just my two cents on this scent <laughs> so um, I'm not too sure but, you know skin chemistry the usual you never know some people amen doesn't last on them you know uh, some people blue de chanel is beast mode okay lucky bastards anyway moving on so age group with this one I think this one's perfectly fine for the age of 16 and up really um, if you can, if you can uh, legally work, you can wear this, no problem. I think that's it. 16 up to whatever age. I mean, you might not, this might not be your choice if you're in your 60s, but I mean, you could wear it. It's not, no one's going to complain. Let's be honest, you know. Who, who, who would not want to have a granddad that smells of fucking juniper? I mean, come on. Like, what are you wearing, granddad? Black excess potion. You know, fucking, I love you so fucking much, granddad. <clears throat> you're the best. Well, let's go play Tekken 2. <laughs> Tekken 2, because granddad's that hardcore. He has a PlayStation 1. Not because he knows he's not into gaming. No, he just refuses to buy the rest of them because he thinks they're shit. That's how hardcore Grandpa is. Grandpa doesn't give a fuck. Grandpa's into fucking anal and shit, man. Grandpa's into bondage. Grandpa's a dirty bastard and you love him all the more. 
God bless him. Man probably doesn't exist, but fuck it. God bless him anyway, just in case. I ain't taking no chances. <laughs> oh, look, that'll be me when I'm a grandpa. Come on, son. Hey. Happy birthday. Here's your first pair of fluffy handcuffs. Your ex will thank me <clears throat> if you get back together. Which you want? She's a slut. Uh, anyway, back to review. <laughs> Not likes his terrible sex life. Um, <laughs> so, age group really, no problem with this one. Um, I'm going to say how many sprays. How many sprays with this one? Uh, it's entirely up to you. With me, I'd probably go with six. Average, may more. Six to eight over spray with this because I just don't feel. But if it's his palm for pretty, performing pretty strong, I would say give it around four to five sprays. Average it out, you know, situation, season, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's routine, guys. You know, kindergarten stuff to you guys anyway. So, yeah. So, season wise, this is, a, this is what it's going to get. It's just so, I say that because it's so hot right now and I'm thinking about it, you know, wearing this in the summer and it's, it's boiling here, obviously, because, you know, I've got I've had to turn my fan and close my windows off, get in the fields of the microphone, you know, so a people outside can hear me going, Can't today, Grandpa, fuckity bounce. <laughs> they can go fuck themselves. They can come over here and give me a blowjob before I fucking stop doing what I do. Cunts. Yeah, I see you, Adam. Fuck yourself. Anyway, <clears throat> hi Adam. Uh, anyway, what was it? Yeah, season wise. So, spring, I think this is fine for spring. I think this is really a you know, fresh spring day. I think this is great for that, really. For a fresh spring day, no problem. Summer, I'm going to say no, but you probably could if you just went like this. I mean, I'm not even joking. It depends how it performs. So, if you literally just went like this, that's it. You can wear it in summer. You could probably do that with Kuros as well, to be fair. But if you go and wear it in summer and you love it that much, yeah, do that. Okay? And give it 30 minutes when you leave the house. Maybe an hour. It's up to you. If you're wearing suntan lotion, well, fragrance and suntan lotion, nah, you know, come on. Let it dry in a bit. It's a bit pain in the ass. Um, I know I put my lotion on right after I come out of the shower, which is not when I put my fragrance on, so it's like, oh, take your fucking pick. Um, damn. So until Hugo Boss releases her own suntan lotion, we're fucked. You know, Aventus suntan lotion? Come on, guys. Creed, get on that shit. Stop fucking about with the bottle sizes and give us some fucking suntan lotion. Christ. Factor 20, my ass. <laughs> anyway, summer, meh. Autumn, hell yes. And winter, hell yes. I think colder weather, if this performs for you, definitely really, really good for that. Um, but I think spring is sort of the perfect season for this. It's a fresh spring day. It's got fruity berry vibe. You know, go for a walk in the in the local park, stuff like that, you know. I think that'd be really damn good. So this, guys. It's fucking roasting in here. It's like an oven. And I'm in the attic room, so the heat rises. And we've got a wooden house. Do the math, it's practically a fucking, I could fry an egg in my floor, won't do it for hygiene reasons, but I could, just to prove a point, you know, fry it in my forehead like that, yeah, my date worthy yet, cunt, um, <clears throat> moving on, so situation wise, can you wear this to work, yes, I'd be the same rules as summer, don't overdo it, one nice wee spray, you know, office environment or whatever, this will work fine for work, no problem, moving on, can you wear this in a date, hell yes, the only thing I would advise is to check, if you, I've not smelt a lot of guys wearing this personally, but with popular, easy to get scents like Black Excess, Pack Ban, One Million, you don't want to come across smelling like her ex-boyfriend. You know, the ex-boyfriend who was an asshole and she associates him with this smell. Doesn't matter how charming you are, doesn't matter how many drinks you buy her, you will not get laid and you will never see her again because you remind her of her ex who has a two inch penis, is very insecure and probably snorts cocaine, hence the violent outburst. Just saying. <laughs> oh God. Moving on, can you wear this clubbing? If it performs for you, yes. Maybe overspray a bit, you know. I think it's a great clubbing scent. I mean, like I said, Black Excess line is like made for the nightclub scene. Really, really good for clubbing. Moving on, can you wear this casually? Hell yes. Moving on again, can you wear this formally? Um, I'd say if you want, if you, if there wasn't any other options, this was all you had. You could wear it formally. You could, but there are better options. There are better options that cost less. You know, for example, Alva Habs. There's some Alva Habs out there that cost a fraction of this price and would definitely be more suited for it. A formal event with a suit and tie and stuff like that and you know a solid gold belt and a machine gun you know a mac 10 strapped to your inside in case someone tries it you know you whip it out and go yo put it down here eh? put it down put that i see you're doing man <laughs> yeah you know fucking gold chain hanging out shut folded over the the suit collar because you're that hardcore you don't give a fuck even though it's 2017 and that isn't the fashion but you don't care you're an asshole you know what i mean you don't, you don't give a fuck you punch homeless people in the face and kick babies in the balls and like, yay! You're an asshat. And not everyone's too scared of you to do anything about it. Fuck yeah. God bless whoever the man that I just, 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 just described. I hope the therapy's going well. <sighs> Certainly going better than mine, that's for sure. Bastard. Anyway. <laughs> Form event, not so much. 
if you were really this is all you had, yes, you could, you know, follow the summer spray rule. Uh, but really, so overall, I think it's a great flanker for the Black Accessory. I think it's pretty damn unique. I think this is the last one mainly before they just dropped the ball and went, let's just make a cash cow. Get teenagers laid. Underage pregnancies are way up. Pay <laughs> sore sales. <laughs> Fucking men. <laughs> now let's go release a, a, an excess scent that smells like Savage. Come on, let's go, boys. Come on. Let's go copy Savage and Blue de Chanel. Oh, I'm coked up to my tits. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. You can tell the heat's getting to me. Eh? And thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As always, any questions you have, leave them in the comments below. <sighs> And as always, if you have, if you, know, you can contact me on my new Facebook page, uh, which is Powerhouse Kings. So I've got a brand new Facebook page, Powerhouse Kings. I'll link that in the description, um, and you can go visit that. There's not a lot of content now. I'm not sure what I'm putting on it, but this is the first time I've actually announced it. So it means instead of you having to come through my personal Facebook, you can go to Powerhouse Kings and stuff, and stuff that I share on my Facebook that I don't share on my public YouTube channel because it's a Facebook. You know, I can share in that page and stuff. So yeah, there's that. So yeah, as always, guys. Thank you for watching and keep on smelling fly.